Hey guys, this video is about determining special quadrilaterals on the coordinate plane, such as parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, or square. There's three main steps that you're always going to follow, and that consists of first, calculating the distances of the diagonals, then compare. You want to see if they're congruent. Step two, calculate the slopes of the diagonals to see if they are perpendicular. Once you've got that, then you can write a sentence, decide, explain which special quadrilateral you have. Okay, key is to make sure you're always using the diagonals. This little chart here just kind of recaps the special properties of each of these quadrilaterals that we've talked about. So if the diagonals are not congruent or perpendicular, it's a parallelogram. If they are congruent but not perpendicular, it's a rectangle. If they're not congruent, but they are perpendicular, that would be a rhombus. And if they are both congruent and perpendicular, that would be a square. Okay, just to kind of recap from Algebra 1, how do we decide if the slopes create perpendicular diagonals? Well, perpendicular diagonals will always have opposite reciprocal slopes. Here are some examples. So negative 2 and 1 half. Those are opposites because this one is negative and this one's positive. They are reciprocals as well because if you exchange the numerator and denominator, you will have the other slope. Okay, same thing with negative one half and positive two, positive three and negative one third. Those are all two slopes that will give you perpendicular diagonals. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin question number one. Graph your points then you can figure out your diagonals. I'll give you a second to go ahead and do that, catch up, and then when you're ready, resume the video. Okay, then set up your three steps. So first step, calculate the distances of both the diagonals using the distance formula. So make sure you're using the coordinates A and C because that's a diagonal. One minus negative two squared and then 0 minus 3 squared. So that's going to give me positive 3 squared, negative 3 squared. Well, both of those are 9. 9 plus 9 gives me the square root of 18. Now we're going to do the same thing for BD. So big square root. x1 minus x2 squared plus y, uh, y1 minus y2 squared. And then we simplify. That's going to give me 5 squared. That's also going to give me 5 squared. So both of those together, 25 plus 25, square root of 50. Well, right away I could see clearly they are not congruent. Okay. So now I need to calculate my slopes, see if maybe the slopes cause them to have perpendicular diagonals. All right, I'm going to calculate the slopes because you won't always have a picture. So remember, in case you forgot, slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the formula that we're using to calculate the slope. So 3 minus 0 and negative 2 minus 1. 3 minus 0 is 3, negative 2 minus 1, negative 3. That simplifies to be equal to negative 1. Now we're going to do the same thing for BD. Okay, 4 minus negative 1, 2 minus negative 3. Well, minus negative becomes a plus. So we have 5 over 5, which is just 1. Okay, now let's look at our slopes. Negative 1 and positive 1 are those opposite reciprocals. So this one's negative, this one's positive, yep. And if you want to draw in over 1, they are in fact reciprocals as well. So this means that we do have perpendicular diagonals. So now we draw our conclusion. Since the diagonals are not congruent, but they are perpendicular, ABCD would in fact be a rhombus. Okay, on to question number two. Go ahead and graph your points. When you're all caught up, um, then come join me. Okay, 
So we have identified our diagonals as PR and SQ. Go ahead and calculate the distances of both of those. Then when you're ready, go ahead and resume the video. Okay, when you calculate out your distance formulas, you should find that both of these come out to be the square root of 50, so therefore the diagonals are congruent. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate the slope of both those diagonals. And again, when you're ready, resume the video so that you could check, see if you got it correct. Here's what you should get for both of the slopes. So the slope of PR should come out to be 1 over 7, and the slope of SQ should come out to be negative 1. Well, if we compare those, yes, this one's negative and that one's positive, but they are not reciprocals. So these, would, these diagonals would not be perpendicular. So now we're going to write our sentence. See if you can get a solid sentence with valid explanation, and then when you're finished, resume the video, see if it matches what I have to say. Okay, so here is an example of an explanation that would earn full credit on a quiz. Since the diagonals are congruent but they're not perpendicular, PQRS would be a rectangle. It is important to put this, even though they're not perpendicular, you need to say that. Because if they are perpendicular, that would be a different type of special quad. Go ahead and try example number three on your own, and when you're finished, resume the video and see if your answer matches mine. Okay, question number three, you can kind of tell by looking at the picture that it probably is going to be a square, but it's important to validate your hypothesis using work and geometry such as the distance formula and the slope. Okay, so both the distances are congruent. Your slopes, negative two, positive one half, those would cause perpendicular diagonals. So since the diagonals are both congruent and perpendicular, this would in fact be a square. Okay. These three examples are called coordinate proofs. It's a way of proving that a quadrilateral is a special quad by using formulas in geometry on the coordinate plane. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, if not, please come and see me so we can set up some extra help days. Thanks so much. Bye.